Welcome back to the channel that wastes energy life skilling so you don't have to. My name is Teddy and today it's time for a new gathering guide and how to make gathering completely OP. With the new artifacts, rentable tools, and progression paths, it is now easy to start gathering like you have Guru 30 gathering. So if you're curious about gathering or want to gather like the magical little hedgehog himself and make millions while doing it, grab a snack and a drink and let's get into this. Getting started with gathering is easy. This can now be done by opening the quests, hitting the suggested, and opening the group of quests called Basics of Gathering, Learning About Gathering. These will show you the basics of gathering and give you what you will need to start gathering, including a donkey. While you gather, you will notice that you are completing the progression path. Doing this is a great way to get the new Demi Hire Life tools. These tools are great for starting out sporting gathering item drop rate plus 80%, gathering experience plus 50%, and gathering time reduced by 11 seconds. These, however, come with 300 durability, cannot be repaired, and last for 14 days. These can be obtained by hitting the apprentice gathering milestone. Completing this progression pass also rewards gathering buff items, energy tonics, and most importantly, a Manos tool of your choice. Norma Late here in Northern Wheat Plantation here near Calpheon has new tools that can be rented for 50 contribution points now. These give gathering item drop rate plus 30%, reduce gathering time by 11 seconds, increases gathering mastery plus 200, and gives plus 10 gathering experience. These are great for the constant active gathering, but the 50 contribution requirement makes this only good for leveling using one before investing into Logia or Manos tools. Finally, the Gathering Sethra artifacts can increase Gathering Mastery, Gathering Experience, or Gathering Item Drop Rate. These can only be found using Life Skills and can't be bought, sorry guys. Floor Lightstones can be found the same way and can be bought off the central market. These provide either Mastery or Experience and have cool combinations to help out Gathering. Now that you dabbled in gathering, let's talk about leveling gathering. With the understanding of gathering, where should you go? Depending on the tool you want to use depends on where you should gather. Ho gathering has bear with the most herbs, mining has pilgrim's haven, the butcher knife has sheep hill, blood collecting also sheep hill, and tanning has sheep hill too. Finally, lumbering has trent. These can be leveled up anywhere else, these just have a large quantity making it easier and faster. Once you've chosen a spot and have your gear ready, how do you speed up gathering? Early on, gathering is slow and you won't have the speed or mastery to gather rare drops like sharps and hards, so starting out I suggest using the silver embroidered gatherer's clothes. The plus 3 close has plus 2 gathering and plus 20% gathering experience to help speed up leveling. Using magic tools provides the same gathering yield as 650 mastery, but these disable mastery while using, making these great for leveling gathering only. For accessories, I suggest using the base Logia until you can start investing money into better gear. Wearing a gathering costume will increase the experience. This requires the equipment tailoring coupon and professional gatherer's clothes from the luxury vendor. Or if you're a shy, you can spend pearls to get the curious gatherer's clothes. With the introduction of the Sethra's artifacts, using two Sethra artifacts gathering experience will increase gathering experience plus 20%. With four Flora Lightstones planes, will award the Lightstone combination Friend of Fairies. This increases gathering experience plus 8% on top. As for buffs, I will always suggest the Seafood Kron's Meal. The Vadir Drought, Perfume of Swiftness, the Book of Florin, and lastly, the Blue Grade Life Spirit Stone. Did you know that you can accept a weekly and daily gathering quest from Liana in all major cities? These give some gathering experience, Floramos Petals to make the Secret Book of Florin previously mentioned, Gold Bars, and finally some Traces. 
for pets? The hedgehog is king here, hands down, but any life skill pet with gathering plus 10% will do. Really quick, I just wanted to say thank you and how much I appreciate everyone and the support you guys have given. I can't do this without you guys and you guys make making every episode and guide I've done so fun. Don't forget to hit that like and drop a comment down because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. For those who want to support the channel even more, I now have the super thanks button. This is a nice neat little thing that allows you to purchase a personalized thank you that stands out from all the other comments and it greatly helps out the channel so again thank you for all the support and i couldn't do this without you but for now let's talk about gear progression and raising that mastery Gathering mastery can be expensive to increase, but does come with a lot of rewards. Because mastery dictates the percent that you can find rare drops while gathering, it will cost a lot to increase it, but completely worth it. Life skill and gear progression is simple, yet expensive. Once you're ready, the first tier, you should focus on obtaining a Tet Logia gathering clothes. This will increase mastery to 200, but will cost 400 mil. Trilogia Accessories is the next thing on the list. This increases mastery by 24 for each ring and earring, and 28 mastery for each belt and necklace. Each will cost around 60 mil. As for a tool, I would go with Late's tool you choose because it is repairable cutting down travel time. All of this will cost around 800 mil and 50 contribution points, but will increase mastery to 650, getting you a jump start. The next step down this long road will be to replace the Trilogia accessories with Tet. This will cost 900 mil total, but will boost mastery to 800. With 800 mastery, this is where the real gathering begins, but also where you start to spend billions. Replacing the late tool with a Tet Menos requires 1 to 2 billion, but gives 300 mastery alone. It is an investment, but worth doing it. I chose to make and enhance all my tools myself to reduce the cost. Having higher mastery helps find the materials needed to craft and enhance, meaning I'm just making money for enhancing. After replacing your tool, it's on to replacing all the Logia gear with tri -manas. These can be bought for a couple billion each or made then enhanced if you have the luck. Gathering mastery artifacts will increase mastery by 10 each and using 4 far stunts will give the combination Spirit's Echo. This increased gathering mastery by another 15 or replacing one of the far stones with an iridescent stone will give the combination Nature Lover. This gives plus 30 gathering mastery. Now that you are gathering faster and know how to increase your mastery, what's next? For those who are looking to gather like a god, here is the section for you. There are other ways to increase gathering further and makes it far more rewarding. The cons heart is worth around 9 billion on NA, but can be crafted. This reduces cooking and alchemy time by 1.3 seconds, processing success rate plus 13%, weight limit plus 70, plus 2 to gathering and fishing, gathering item drop rate plus 12%, and finally plus 25 gathering mastery for 10 minutes. This can also be repaired. Branding stones will reduce the durability loss on tools and the cost to repair. Using a tent will allow the use of villa scrolls if you have the invite or are using the Book of the Old Moon. This will allow you to repair without heading to a town. Buying the hedgehog and getting it to tier 4 is a must for the added gathering drops almost every gathering attempt. Having the arctic fox also increases item drop rate. The value pack and commas blessing is a must, but did you know you can have half the commas life skilling bonuses without using the buff? Going back to those artifact and life stones, we are given one of the best combinations for gathering in my opinion, the yawning hedgehog. And I know you're thinking, what about the scurrying weasel combination? The scurrying weasel combination gives gathering item drop rate plus 5%, gathering experience plus 10%, gathering mastery plus 20, movement speed plus 3, and gathering plus 1. 
This is a great bonus, but is a step down compared to the Yawning Hedgehog, which gives plus 10 gathering item drop rate, and instead of movement speed, we get plus 1 energy recovery. This makes the Yawning Hedgehog combination a must for gathering and energy recovery. All of this will increase the amount of items you will obtain through gathering and help with getting those enhancing materials faster. I've been gathering at 1400 Gathering Mastery and I've been able to get enough materials to craft and enhance another Manos Gathering clothes to sell. Whether you're wanting to know how to speed up gathering or just want to see how to further increase your mastery, I hope this guide helps you. And before you go, follow me over on Twitter at Finals Twin to keep up to date with everything life skilling I'm currently doing. If you want to see another way to speed up life skilling or just make some silver, click on this video here and I will see you in another Black Desert Online guide.